with Crystal Beauty. Crystal Beauty is one of our chroniclers on this program. And uh, Crystal Beauty, uh, last year when she was here, she did an interview with uh, Daphne. Daphne last Saturday was on stage with Charlotte Panda, with Ben Dika. Uh, it was awesome out there in Yaoundé at uh, Palais de Congrès. Uh, just watch Crystal Beauty doing her stuff on Abola with Daphne CB show. Let's watch. Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of the Crystal Beauty show. Today with me I have the one, the only Daphne. This life is a journey that we gotta pass through. We got a destiny we must get to. So why some people gonna try to change the destiny of others? When you know that my life is in you, nobody can stop now. Try to catch me, but the way you pump them, I may see them run. Them go fly. Try to catch me, but the way you pump them, I may see them run. But you have been a So tell us about yourself, you know, for those people who do not know who you are yet. I mean, by the way, when I got in a taxi coming here to shoot, right, they were playing your song on the radio. Wow. And I was like, oh my gosh, <laughs> you know, and, and I'm, I'm very, very impressed because back in the U.S., when we go to events or, you know, on the radio, you wouldn't really hear much of Cameroonian songs. Yeah. So hearing that on the radio to me was like, probably this is something that happens all the time. Yeah. But to me, it was just like, oh my goodness, you know, yeah. I, somebody I know is on the radio and yeah. it was so exciting. Cool. So, um, yeah, so basically a lot of people are obviously aware of who you are, but yeah. just for those people who do not know who you are, can you just give us a little bit biography about yourself? Uh, my true things so are... I am a, an, an enthusiastic, courageous, fearless <laughs> young lady who is out there to to preach her, her, her message. I don't want to call it preach, okay, I just did. But it's kind of like preach my message, let the people know more about the world we live in. Very nice, very nice. So, what inspires your music? That's a difficult question. You know why? why? Because before then, before now, uh -huh. I would clearly tell you my mom, God, uh, and a couple of others. But the story has changed because with the experiences of every day, you have different things that inspire me. Yeah, with my everyday experience. Many different things inspire me, but I will say that God is my main source of inspiration. Who uh, creates your beats? Uh, the one and <laughs> only Dr. King. <laughs> yeah, because you, you, you've got us. some really good beats. That's, you yeah, know, yeah, I love yeah, them. Yeah, and tell us a little bit about getting into music. How did it all start for you? Singing is not one year to me because I've been singing since I was a child. From the Sunday school choir to the youth choir to the main choir and all that. What is really actually new is being an artist. Yeah, um, being an artist that started for me in 2013. Even though before then I have been singing, but doing some kind of backups, like singing in people's songs, you might do something on the, in the chorus, then that's what we call backups. So I've been doing that, but I started doing my own stuff in 2013. Uh, before uh, 2014, I signed into Stevens Music and I launched out my first single. And how's your experience been with Stephen Music? Wow, terrifically <laughs> lovely. Yeah, I can't I can't think of a be a better record label mm -hmm. than Stevens Music because it's just so much like family. You, everyone connects, everyone has the interest of the other. It's more like a family than even business. Yeah. Yeah. And I love the job, the, the things they're doing for me, how, how, how much they've done for me so far as an artist. 
and as a person. So it's been great. It's been great. What challenges do you face as an artist? <sighs> if I have to tell that night will come, they will go. <laughs> But uh, just to rush it down, you know, every woman faces uh, challenges in the in the music industry as a woman. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, it becomes more and more competitive every day, and you see the struggle. You see, it, uh, especially in the music industry in Cameroon, it's like the men are in front, or the men are up there, so you have to do work hard and hard and hard and hard to meet up to that state or to that level and it's really tough. Then also um, adapting to the, the, the showbiz lifestyle, yeah, it's, it's something of an issue for me because I, I think I'm, I'm a re more reserved kind of person mm -hmm. than people would want me to be. So each time they're like, what? This is not the girl I saw in Gunshot. This is not the girl I saw in Restaurant. You were supposed to be crazy or mm -hmm. smoking some kind of weed. <laughs> and I go out there like, 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 like some quiet. <laughs> and they're like, no. But I, I, I believe people will get used to that, that, that side of me, which is just me, mm -hmm. and that side of me, which is music. Yeah. So that's my niche. Very nice. And how does your family like the fact that you're into music? Is that something that was a challenge for them to deal with or were they fine with it? My mom. My mom. Wow. She was so like nothing music about me. I don't want to hear anything music about you. That you back up, you're going to do in the studio. I don't want to hear about it. Yeah, a couple of times I had to to sneak out through the back door. Wow, yeah, to go for a show. When, when I just started that in 2013, mm -hmm. I had to sneak out through the back door to go for a show or go to go and do the back door or something. It was terrible. But after some time, well, that's when she heard uh, Rastafari mm -hmm. and another song I went to release, Mother's Love. She wept that day. She wept. And she was like, if I had money now, I would have sponsored you. <laughs> And that was how it started for me. She just from then, from from that time, she was just like encouraging me all the way. She, she just encouraged me. She's been great so far. I talk a lot about my mom because she's a she's my parent. I live with. I don't live with my dad. Mm -hmm. So I always talk about my mom and my sister. My my younger sister. She's actually my only sister. She's been so supportive. My elder brothers too have been great. My younger brother. Everybody is just been lovely. Have you done any collaborations with any other Cameroonian singers? <laughs> yes, but I don't want to reveal. <laughs> Come on now, you have you have to give us something. It's a surprise. It's a surprise. We like we like surprises here. Nah, it's some uh, it's some collab you would not believe. Uh, why should this person be collaborating with this person? It's two different worlds. So huh. I don't understand. I yeah. can begin <laughs> guessing right now. Male or female? I won't tell you. <laughs> At least give me something. Male or female? Mm. <laughs> Come on. There's, there's like one million male artists and one million okay, female. Male. male, okay. Huh. Jovi. Oh, that kind of collab is expected okay. because we, we are in the same world, we do the same kind of music, it's hip hop, hip hop, but huh. no, I'm not so hip hop. But. Okay, I think I'll, I'll get it before the show ends. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So besides that person, is there somebody else that you would like to collaborate with in the future? Cameroonian? Yeah, there are a lot of Cameroonian artists I would like to collaborate with. Before I would be able to call a, a couple of names, but right now, with the way the industry is going, I see talented people come up every single day, and I'm just loving Cameroonians. So I don't even know where to start, which to start calling. So I would like call the Stan you know, we like all the Jovis, we like all the Gashas, we like all the, the Futurists, and all the like. I'm just so confused because Cameroonians are doing so good for themselves. I'm, 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 I'm like wanting to collaborate with all Cameroonian artists. <laughs> if it's not too much to ask. 
So, do you have any plans on doing concerts out of Cameroon? Yes. Anytime soon? Yes, yes. Uh, yes, of course. It's just that um, they're taking things one step at a time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so those will definitely come. We have had a couple of, uh, of, of requests. Yeah, but we're kind of like taking our time to make sure um, everything happens in the right time and place. You said you're from Bayangi slash Bakuri. Yeah. Okay, so what is your favorite meal? Arrow! Arrow? <laughs> Like I can eat that any day, any time. Wow. You know when you I know what? Now we are best friends. <laughs> Automatic. Can you cook it? Of course, oh. of course. Yes, yes. I can cook it. <laughs> you know when I go saying a rule to my friends or to ladies or even men, mm -hmm. they're like, how she can get this? I was expecting her to see fried rice and chicken, uh, some kind of spaghetti and egg, and I'm like, dog, I like it any day, any time. What about a chew? Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm more of the, the traditional meal kind of person. Mm -hmm. All these European meal, I eat them, but they are not, they are not really me. A chew, corn chaff, equang, all of them are there. <laughs> so. Basically, someday I'm going to come and you cook some aero for me. Exactly. Promise? Yeah, yeah promise. Our viewers are, you know, they are witnesses. So don't come and tell me something else tomorrow. Promise, okay. promise. <laughs> well, finally, I know you have to go, you're, you know, you're busy, you have to go record some more stuff yeah. for us. Yeah. So before you go, can you give um, our audiences some advice? Especially those who want to become musicians. Advice, you know, this is actually the best and the, the most difficult part. <laughs> well, the, the main thing I would like to tell people out there, my like fans and non fans, yes, <laughs> I would like to say believe in yourself and don't be afraid to dream. Dream as big and as crazy as you can because that makes it easier for you to work towards your dream, towards achieving it. Even if you don't get as wide or as big as you were thinking, you'll be maybe an inch close to it. And that's what makes life worth living. So believe in yourself, dream big, and work towards your dreams. Wow. I couldn't have said it any better. <laughs> well, thank you so much for your time. And I can't wait to see that video. With, yeah. the, with the person you're collaborating with, but I think when I think of it, I'll text it to you. Okay. And, and if if I get it before it's out, huh? Okay. <laughs> I'll probably broadcast it on Facebook. No, <laughs> hell no. <laughs> All okay. right. Thank you so much. It's been so nice being here. And now we're going to take a quick break with some comedies with MC Calvino, and we'll be right back. Stay tuned.